Hello and welcome to another day in paradise and welcome to another edition of the Unapologetic Negropian in today's video. Today is a special day. I'm coming to you from my bedroom and on this most auspicious of nights I thought I would regale you with a true story. A tale of a time way back when, when I was arrested by the Dutch authorities at the airport for doing something rather naughty. So it was 2004 and I had just arrived to Amsterdam Schiphol via Birmingham. Yeah, tropical Birmingham. And I was on my way out of the departure lounge. I had my daughter with me. She was only one years old at the time, not even one years old at the time actually. And I had her in the pram and I was pushing her through the big open space. If you know Schiphol Airport, there's a big open space where you have the train stations and there is an AKO shop to your right. So I was pushing her down this corridor way and we was approached by one of these. Okay, so now you know that at this time, most people who were in my situation, a person that didn't know anything about Dutch culture because I'd only ever been to the Netherlands in Amsterdam, I'd only ever been there one time before. So when this person approached me, I flipped out and it didn't end well. It didn't end well for the person who was dressed in blackface. The person who was dressed in blackface, I couldn't tell whether it was a man or a woman. Right, it was a woman. So I reacted this way towards a woman. It was bad, okay? So I was arrested by the Koninklijke Merschusse, which is the Dutch military police. So I was arrested by them and things actually turned out okay and i now look back at things and i think to myself hmm maybe this is the reason why things turned out this way the reason i'm bringing up this story now is because they're celebrating a holiday now in the netherlands called sinterklaas now i didn't know they were celebrating it i just watched a video with the achempong family and they were explaining the origins of this um, celebration. It's kind of like Christmas, but early. Santa Claus literally means Santa Claus, right? So it's something which is very similar to that. The kids get presents, they come in, but instead of having dwarfs, well, they have a pack of these little, you know, in old school clothing. So this is the way they celebrate it over there. And I explained what happened to myself at Schiphol and uh, the Chimpong family uh, said, thank you, right? <laughs> Which is really nice of them to say that uh, because after that time, things had changed at Schiphol. After that altercation, they had actually stopped celebrating this really barbarous, weird, strange holiday at the airport in front of international travelers that could actually be repulsed by such people wearing such makeup. So what I want to speak to you today about is a little bit about the origins of why this happened. I'm going to speak to you about Dutch culture and why it's still happening up until today. I'm going to explain to you all this, but first I'm going to ask you to please like, subscribe, share, click the bell notification, and please consider supporting the channel on our Patreon. 
link in the description. I'd also ask you to please follow the Oversight channel, the channel that is there to help you to invest on the African continent, both safely and securely, link also in the description. I was watching the Achenpong family and they were explaining all this and I wrote in the comments section about my experience that I had at Schiphol Airport way back 16, 16 years ago now, it's quite some time ago. And um, they said, thank you. But I think I was being a little bit disingenuous when I was saying that I was the person that stopped what happened, uh, you know, this celebration at Schiphol Airport. Yes, it did stop that year. They don't do it anymore. They haven't done it since 2014. They don't have those people with the black faces at Schiphol Airport running around, running up to children whose parents could be concerned. It did stop there, but I think I was being disingenuous to perhaps the whole host of other black people that probably protested in the same way I protested when I saw this happen. Okay, clearly I wasn't the first person to go through this. Now, let me explain this. When I was arrested by the Kona Luck say they took me in, everyone was chilled. They were so happy. It literally got into a physical altercation, but they were just chilled out. And it, it sounded weird that they were being like this. Um, I was released without charge, everything was cool, management got involved as well, they were like, oh yeah, we're sorry, and this and that and the other, and I was like, okay, yeah, okay, you know, uh, you know, and they said part of the reason why they let me go was because I had my daughter with me as well, I, I wasn't traveling with anybody else at that time, so, crazy situation, but now that I look back at it, it is clear that this management and the police had been through this situation time and time and time again they had gone through people being absolutely in uproar once they went to the airport and saw this in action it's clear that there were other people that had done the same thing that i had done and the management at the schiphol airport realized this and said hey it's time for us to stop this smart thinking but it still happens throughout the Netherlands. They still do this in other parts of the Netherlands. In some places it is banned, but in other places it's allowed. Such a strange thing. Such a such strange thing to teach your children, okay? And the Dutch are all wild about this type of thing, right? They're more than okay to teach their children about something which at least a portion of the population of the Netherlands find as being disgusting. And the reason is this, you see, Dutch people are a special type of people. They're not the same as the rest of Europe, okay? The United Kingdom, in terms of their political stance, tend to be centrists, right? Either centre-left or centre-right. At this moment, they are more right than normal, but they're still closer to the centre than they are to the far right, okay? Belgium is much the same as the UK, right? France don't have a left wing, they have moderation of right wing politics. So right now they are center right, okay? The Dutch are different. The Dutch are left. They are far left. So, so far to the left that they think that people should be literally able to do whatever they want to do. This is a strange phenomena for anybody who goes to the Netherlands. This is the reason why uh, on uh, at the parade day, okay, you know which parade day I'm talking about, you will see things that you will never see anywhere else in the world probably, okay? And that includes the United States of America. I cannot even say it on YouTube because they wouldn't allow my video to go up. But you can imagine, I'm guessing you can. They are far, far, far to the... Matter of fact, I would say that they are so far to the left, they actually go back round on themselves to the right, far right, okay? So I know you guys have a type of uh, liberalism in the United States. I'm gonna try and look it up afterwards, actually. Jordan Peterson and those likes, you know, they call themselves liberals, right? But what they are is they are sort of far, far, rightists in other ways in other aspects right who have given themselves this name they think it's something new 
But it's not. It is old school. The Dutch have been this way since forever, okay? It's so weird. You've got to understand the origins of the people. I'm not going to go in too deep into the origins of Sinterklaas, which is this holiday celebration where they are wearing the blackface because I don't really know much about it. And to be honest with you, it's not really important to me. What I'm trying to say is that, guys, when you are traveling, you're going to see stuff like this, right? And you need to be careful. But the principles inside you, you've also got to hold on to those principles. And that's what I was doing when I went to the airport. There were plenty of people who went to that airport clearly and went through the same thing. Um, there are a lot of people who believe that this should still happen. It clearly should stop. There is nothing that I can do, but it's good to see the work that the black people who are living in the Netherlands are doing to try and stamp out this disgusting type of behavior by the Dutch people. So guys, have any of you guys been to the Netherlands? Have any of you guys seen this Santa Claus celebrate? In what kind of a way did you react to it? Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. It'd be really good to hear your opinion on this. I'm gonna leave it there for tonight. I just found it so interesting that I read and watched this Achi Pong family. Uh, and yeah, I had to, had to voice it out now. So guys, I'd like to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'd like to give an extra special thank you to my patrons and I'll see you in the next one. Until the next time, please think twice. Ta-ra-bit. Yeah.